You know, I don't know about you, but I have been in pain my entire life. Now, I don't have the exact title figured out to this one like I usually do, but I'm assuming that you clicked on this because you understand pain or you've been in pain. Now, physical pain is, is mainly what I've been through, but I've had a lot of uh, emotional and mental pain just like anybody else. And I was at the, I was at the zoo the other day and um, it, my dad, my father's company had uh, like a employee picnic and you know he asked me if I wanted to go which I wasn't originally going to do uh, but my mother and my sister canceled on him and I didn't want him to have to go by himself <clears throat> so we were at this party and um, for whatever reason uh, party get the, whatever whatever you want to call it and uh, for whatever reason they they had us get you know we, we got there and um, we ate first which was fine but then afterwards uh, you know, you can go around the zoo, right? Like a normal person. But I couldn't do much of that. I, I was in so much pain, actually, that I told him, I'm like, I, I, I can't stay for this whole thing, unfortunately. He's like, that, that, you know, that's all right. Um, and he could see that I was in a lot of pain. And I had to leave early. And he, he drove, so we just left early. And as I'm at the zoo... I, I'm like, I'm not terribly old. I'm not terribly young. I'm kind of in the middle. And how am I supposed to get through the rest of my life like this? Like, what am I supposed to do? And I'm walk, watching people, and you know, this isn't a poor me or anything. I'm just trying to relate. I, I, I guess a lot of the comments that I get are like trying to fix something. And it's not what I'm asking for. I'm just trying to relate to an audience here. And I'm watching these families, that, you know, this isn't a poor me or anything like that. You know, this is just my reality. And uh, I'm watching these families, you know, like of people who are, are younger or older than me, just like walk around gingerly around the, the, the zoo. And like, while most people on the outside wouldn't understand that I was in a lot of pain, they probably... You know, and it probably couldn't tell, but they don't look like they're in pain at all. I'm like, and this has been my entire life. My entire life, I've, I've, I, I've, I've had to drop out of so many things. I've had to stop doing so many things. I've had to uh, just, my life has really been dictated by the amount of pain that I've been in. And it reminded me of one day I was at the gym. Uh, imagine that back in my 20, 24 going on 25. And I was at the gym and I worked at this gym. And there was this guy, Big Don, and I only mention his name because he's passed. And uh, he, he comes up to my friend and I, and he's like, uh, have you ever had shoulder pain? Or, uh, you, know, uh, you know, shoulder injuries, or have you ever had any shoulder surgeries? And I, I said, no. He's like, well, you will. I'm like, okay. And so, but he didn't say anything, <laughs> anything beyond that. Uh, and I, then it started like I, I started kind of thinking about like back in the day when I was in school and I would walk down the hallway and I, I had a lot of friends. I, and one day one of my friends was like, dude, your, your arms don't move. Your torso doesn't move at all when you walk. I didn't think anything of it. And, you know, looking back, I did have some cues that like maybe look into this. Right. But I didn't. But I was always in pain. And so I was always going to like the foot doctor. I was always going to uh, just, just a, I think orthopedic is, is what they're called. Uh, and I'm like, I am always in pain, like always in pain. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, because everybody uh, complains about pain. But when I was at the, the food distribution place, like I, my entire locker was full of, of shoes. And I would rotate like five, six different pairs of shoes a day out throughout the day just to try to be in manageable amount of pain and i'm like i don't see anybody else doing this right i don't see anybody else in here with multiple shoes you know like you know you'd hear about like oh my feet hurt and you know but then they you know they, they would go start running or something like i'm like no that and then and then i'm thinking about there was this one time when I was a, a kid, you know, like in my single digits, and, and uh, the part of the city I grew up in was really flat because uh, it was like right off the lake. Uh, there was this slight decline, you know, on my street. And, 
It started kind of spot raining, like like these random clouds are f f coming off the lake. And sometimes when that happens, like it'll literally just rain like over s some one person's house and it won't rain anywhere else. It's, it's kind of weird. I've never seen it anywhere else. And I started doing that. And uh, all the kids that I was with, I was probably with like six or seven kids and they all started running, but I couldn't because I was in so much pain. Or like when I was, uh, you know, just anything. And like the days that I was in more pain than others, I would have more swelling and like edema, especially in like in the chest area my, in my gut. And on the days that where I didn't do a whole lot, uh, especially like even lately, like if I just sit on this in this chair all day, I will literally pee a gallon. I know this is TMI, but back when uh, everybody was here and I was kind of avoiding everybody, I would bring a gallon, <laughs> a gallon container uh, with like a, a wider uh, uh, mouth on it up, upstairs. And I would just hang out in this chair because I used to have this upstairs. And I would um, just take a break from like four to five. And then I would go out and photograph people and stuff like that. There was days where I would literally pee an entire gallon in that hour. And I don't care if you don't believe me, I don't believe it myself, but it happened. An entire gallon. It just, from just not doing anything, from just chilling out, just letting the body settle because I was in so much pain. And even after that, when I would go out into the city and stuff like that and photograph people, I had a three person limit because after about three people, I'd be in so much pain uh, that I had to either stop or, you know, like stop for a little while or just be done. And I'm like, three people's enough, right? And then, <laughs> strangely enough, I was watching Joel Hansen a lot. And I noticed that he has like his shoulders are up like and, and set back and everything like that. And he's... And when he does stuff, like, it's kind of like that. And I'm like, why, why is he, why is he like, it looks like he's very limited, but he's not. He moves very fluidly. And then I, I was watching him one day after the zoo thing. And I'm like, I wonder if his posture is exactly how it's supposed to be. And mine is just so messed up. Anyways, so I've been on this journey of, getting my posture back to where it's supposed to be to the point where like I let my hips go like it's I, I want to know how to describe to other people what I'm doing because I do see a lot of people in the position I'm in another thing that I had happened I, I've gone to yoga I had gone to yoga over the years and I had different instructors and they were always like your external rotation is like non-existent but nobody ever said any anything why or gave me any indication that on why that might be happening and it's weird and then I, i'm starting to think like as i'm going through this i can really squat well now i can uh, like have just my shoulders are like it, it used to be like where my shoulders were kind of on their own and the rest of the body was like separate of my arm but now i realize that it's supposed to be kind of sucked in and your your the, your upper back is what's supposed to control your arm and where it goes your shoulder you know, the three heads over here are just supposed to do what they're supposed to do. And as I'm going through this, I have been noticing a lot more water retention up here, a little bit down on the gut, a little bit over here. But if I sit and chill for a little while afterwards, I mean, I, again, I, not, I, I'm not peeing in a gallon anymore, but like I'll go in and, you know, and I, it's so much coming out of me. It's crazy. I have not really been paying attention to my weight because this has really taken a lot of my effort. And I've also tried to put an effort into actually eating, which is something that I've always kind of avoided. Uh, I don't know why, I don't really love eating, so I kind of have avoided it. Everybody's like, well, you gotta count your calories, count your calories, count your calories. If they knew how little I was eating in most days because a lot of the reason is, is like out there cooking is causes a lot of pain, a lot of pain. I've had uh, kitchen jobs in the past where I literally threw up in a garbage can and had to go home because I was in so much pain because I was so far forward and twisted uh, that everything was off. 
And as I'm going through this process, it's been about two weeks now, maybe three, maybe a little more. As things are clicking into, oh, this is supposed to be here. And like, there's supposed to be an arch in your back. And when my arch, actually, there's an actual arch in my back. Like I can feel it acting almost as a strut like on a car and it's absorbing. I'm like, what the heck? And like, I've let my hips kind of go forward. And so I feel like it encapsulates my spine now. Like, like it's in between my body, not on the outside of it. It's the best way I can describe it. I really want to know how to tell people how to do this stuff because I do see a lot of people with terrible postures and it's ironic because I used to help people with this stuff back in the day and I'm thinking how does no doctor, no chiropractor, no foot doctor, no osteopathic manipulator, no, and I've been to so many doctors over the years because so much pain I have been in. And nobody says anything. It, it makes, it's disgusting to me really. And once I'm finally done with this, because I've got 44 years of a pattern of the way I operate ingrained in my biomechanics, you know, my motor skills that I'm getting rid of and undoing. And as this is happening, I've been noticing certain areas don't have as much water on them. Like my back, I used to sweat like crazy on my back. You've seen it probably in my videos and I'm sure it's still that way. Uh, in just different areas. And I'm like, holy shit. So this has been what's taken a lot of precedence over uh, my, my time and everything like that. So those of you who have been looking into like getting uh, rice diet videos from me and how much I weigh, how much I don't weigh, I haven't really been paying a ton of attention to it. I've been staying in the 260s largely, uh, which isn't ideal. I really want to be around 225, but this has taken precedence because I can't, I can't do anything that I'd like to do when I'm in as much pain as I'm in. I can't tell you how much of my life I've canceled and you know, because I've been in so much pain. And then I start thinking how much could I have actually lifted? How, how much, how much better could my lifting life have been had I known that you didn't need to be in this much pain. And this is actually one of the reasons I tell people not to lift because I was in so much pain after lifting. I'm like, well, everybody's probably in this much amount of pain. And now when I get my, spine like encapsulated in my posterior chain and everything exactly where I can squat like effortlessly. And I'm like, how much could I have squatted? Like how much, how long, you know, like, and I don't know why it's taken me this long to understand some of this stuff. I don't know why it took a food competitor, uh, watching a food competitor for me to actually have this click into my head or why no one ever checked me on it. You know, like nobody ever said anything. Like I've seen some pictures of myself and it didn't make sense. Like certain things, like I don't have, like most people's back is kind of like, there's two hemispheres where mine was just, just one wall. So this is what I've been working on a lot lately and why I was really going to stop making a lot of videos on food and everything, because I just, it has not been a priority. I have been high carb, low fat, almost too much. Uh, it's driving me a little crazy. Uh, because a lot of the days I, my entire morning is just sugar water with apple cider, basically doing the snake diet guy that Cole, Cole, I think is his name, uh, diet because uh, he's right. It does add a lot more heat. Like if you add the, the salts and everything in, and I have been adding more salt in, uh, to the diet. And I have noticed that has had kind of a diuretic effect, which it should have the opposite of that but it has had kind of a diuretic effect. So uh, that is uh, my update. Again, one of these days, everything that I have been doing will help. I feel like a lot of people and I do get a lot of shit in the comments about calories in calories out. If people knew how little I actually ate and like if I, again, I've said so many times in these videos, if I didn't have to eat, I wouldn't because a lot of the times, even making a smoothie, I'd be in pain just standing there making that thing. 
the pain that I have gone through my entire life. I mean, I was missing 33% of my ankle bone before they finally had to force me to basically have surgery and have it replaced because I'm so used to being in pain, I didn't even notice. He said that 1%, uh, people who are missing 1% of their talus, which is the ankle bone, are in so much excruciating pain they can't do anything. And I was missing a third of it. And I was just doing my day to day. That is where my mind has been. Of course, I want to get the weight off, but I think a lot of the weight was stuck on me because everybody's like, well, you know, you, sh you know, they, they call me liars. They call me all this kind of stuff. I don't think I could even have the ability to get because as I've gotten more and more into this and more and more pain, my body's more and more out of, of sync in, in different positions. And I think it's trapping a lot of inflammation because I have noticed that there are days where, man, a lot comes out. And finally, I'm a little bit more hydrated from drinking water. So that is, I mean, this is, this channel is definitely not what I expected it to be. Going to the zoo really, um, I'm like, this is ridiculous. I think I walked for like an hour or two and I was in, I was out of commission, like out of commission. And then, you know, I live so close to the zoo. So then we, we got back here and as I got out of the truck, I'm fine. His truck, I, I'm fine. And I'm like, what, why? You know, it was so quick that it just went away, but then it comes back so quick. So, and then I realized that my, everything was forward and there's like multiple arches in the back that I didn't even really realize. And they support all of your weight, a lot of your weight. And then there's actually an arch across the chest. It's crazy to me. It's like, it's like somebody walking for the first time. It's crazy to me what everything feels like now that uh, everything's kind of getting in more in alignment. And this left foot of mine is actually landing correctly. Uh, I don't know what that noise is. Um, and it just has been uh, kind of a ride. Again, that is where I have been at. I just wanted to give an update because I haven't really been making a ton of uh, videos on food and everything like that. My, my view numbers are so far from where they used to be. It's not even funny. Um, I used to get a lot of views a week and now it's, it's way down. Anyway, that is, uh, that's, that's basically what's been going on my entire life. I've been so much pain, so much pain. When I really think about it, when I go back and look, I mean, there's so many things that I didn't do because I was in so much pain, I couldn't even do it. it. It's crazy. So if anyway, if you've made it this far and this resonates with you, maybe I'll have an answer for you. Maybe I won't, but I can tell you that what I have done this last week, especially, maybe a week and a half is just like enlightening. Like I can go for a walk, like an hour long walk or a half hour walk and not be so stiff by the end of it that I can, I mean, it's crazy. Even going grocery shopping back in the day, which is a large reason I didn't have a lot of groceries. I'd be in so much pain by the end of that um, that I didn't even care if I had groceries. That's it. That's it. I mean, it may actually get to the point where if I can get this corrected as much as I want to, I may actually go back to the gym and see how much I can squat, deadlift it and overhead press and all that. Just because I've got everything somewhat working the way it's supposed to. It's crazy to me, like how I, I didn't, how I've managed to get through uh, existence like this. This has definitely been quite a journey. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I have found that the cellar sizer, which is behind me and going for walks has been very beneficial. I have a bunch of kettlebells. Well, not a bunch. I got a two sixteen kilogram and two twenty four kilogram. I'm going to utilize those somehow to uh, also help me uh, with this. And Maybe I'll build a program around this, around helping other people rehab themselves because it's crazy to me. When I walk correctly, there is no pain. I can actually stand at the cutting board and cut stuff and not be in you know, pain. I can cut potatoes and not be in pain. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy to me. Anyway, this has been quite a journey. I thought this channel was going to be all about losing weight from, I was 292 pounds when I started this channel. Um, I'm in the two sixties now. Uh, so I've been maintaining the two sixties at least it's been a lot. Um, so anyway, I, I, I do appreciate everybody that's watched this channel, watched this crazy ass journey of mine. And I, I want to thank you for watching it, but, uh, I wanted to be more of like 
helpful to other people. That's why I started this channel. <laughs> and I feel like it's turned into kind of like a, me just dumping what's going on in my life, which I don't really want it to be, but some people like that, some people don't. Uh, I'm, I do actually have a video that I'm gonna be doing about blood sugar levels. I, I got it from 140 when I woke up to 95 when I wake up, uh, and I wanna kinda go over that. And I also have read, and I probably really should do some more videos about this, like posture also affects your hormones which I've always had issues with. So we'll see if that's true or not. Um, I'm gonna look more into that. And yeah, anyway, talk to you in the next one. Peace.